Hey guys, welcome to Outlaw Edge. Uh, so I was reading some of my comments and uh, this video that I'm doing right now is about the rotisserie that we have in our shop and this video is for Terry Hudspeth. And I hope I'm saying you're right, your right, your uh, name right, uh, Terry Hudspeth. I hope, hope that's right. But uh, he was asking about the rotisserie and uh, he was kind of interested in it. So I told him, you know, if I get a chance, I'll uh, do a quick video on it. And then I'll, I got some other stuff I want to talk about too. <clears throat> but uh, here we go. So this, uh, this is round tubing, it's two inch by two inch round tubing, and they bent this in a radius. And uh, this isn't something that we built, this is something that was uh, purchased for the shop. And this thing's amazing. And then what you do is you take one by one tubing and you bolt on these brackets here, run it across the vehicle, and you have these brackets that you make for each vehicle. Each vehicle is gonna be different and separate from all the other ones. And what you do is you bolt them to the body. And this is a 63 Ford unibody that we have on here right now that we're gonna be started on pretty soon. <clears throat> and uh, right here we built the brackets where the hood, hood uh, hinge bolts or whatever would be bolted and it holds the vehicle. And then uh, these brackets here are every so many feet. And then you have this guy here and this is for the jack when this vehicle's down on its uh, on the ground on these wheel setups here. And here's the brake. This is a brake and it has a big red wheel inside there. I'm not sure if you can see that. You can see the wheel down inside here. <clears throat> and uh, what it does is this whole rotisserie turns so you can work underneath the cars or the trucks or whatever. And it doesn't matter what you want to put on here. It's all completely, um, it's just, you know, uh, you know, you can take, you can put a super B all the way down to a Volkswagen on this thing or a pickup, or I guess if you got a big rig body you wanted to put on here, you could, I mean, the thing is, is as long as the body <clears throat> for the vehicle, as long as you have like two feet here, and two feet on the bottom for your measurements, then it'll spin completely around. And uh, in another two and a half, three months, you'll see us working on this thing, uh, full bore, balls out, you'll see us working on this unibody, and uh, you'll see this uh, uh, rotisserie getting used a lot. And then the only other thing you have to do is when you take the rotisserie, you have to take these brackets here and they go all the way across to the back of the rotisserie. Back to right here. And then you also have to have these, these uh, cross bracing. And what that does is that keeps the rotisserie from falling. And we put a level on here and made sure it was plumb on both sides of the vehicle. And then we put in these cross braces. And then when you, you know, when you're rolling it around or whatever, it's uh, super easy where it's not gonna um, you know, it's not going to be doing this crap, moving back and forth. Um, it's kind of a pain in the ass, but it's worth the time because when you get something that's uh, a restoration or whatever and you want to do it on this rotisserie and build the car and get it all set up, it's super badass because it just makes it so much nicer. You just flip the thing over, cut the floors out, put the new floors in, um, cut the bed out, put the new bed in. It's a unibody, so there's no, the bed's not separate from the body. It's all one unibody. Um, but this thing's very adaptable to whatever you want it to be, um, to whatever car you want it to go on. And it's, it's makes it super nice. Um, the brakes on this one kind of suck. That's why you see the vice grips right here. It's kind of a safety thing for me. Um, when I'm done using it and I get it to where I want it to stop, I put the vice grips on there. Um, it does have, let's see, um, the wheels, the wheels are put away right now. I'm not even using them but it does have wheels. So it has this thing here, and I'll, I'll show you what I'm talking about. It has a deal that goes on here, and you hook it to a jack, and you just take a normal floor jack and pump it up, and it lifts the rotisserie up off the ground, and you slap the wheels on the left side and the right side, and you let it back down. And then what that does, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm sorry. What that does is when you let it down on the ground, then say for instance, I'm gonna take this outside and sandblast it, the thing's already on wheels. And I mean, it's got some big ass casters on it. 
and it just rolls like butter all the way outside. One guy could do it. And one guy could spin this all the way around by himself. It's super easy, like so nice. Um, the only thing you have to do is you have to keep the casters uh, lubed up so that they, they turn nice and easy. They're on really nice bearings. Um, you, you always wanna make sure that you have the bracing going left uh, side to side and the top and bottom bracing on this thing. If not, it's real flimsy and floppy. And you can see this thing is very strong. It does not move around at all. Like you can shake the piss out of it. And I could actually take this, and we've done it before, that's why I'm saying, you could take this, drop it down on the wheels and go all the way out in the yard, all the way out back by yourself. One guy could pull the whole car around, sandblast it and pull it right back in the shop. Or, you know, if you're like us, you have a fabrication shop here and then, a, excuse me, and then across the street, you have the body shop. You could drag this thing across the shop and actually hook a car strap to it and pull it with a truck or something if you're by yourself where it'll just follow right along when you're pulling it. It's really nice. It's a cool setup and, and it won't hurt the body of the truck or the car or whatever we have on there. We've had coupes on here. We've had all kinds of cars on this thing and it's just, it saved our ass a bunch of times. So Terry, uh, uh, oh, I forgot his name. Terry, anyways, I'm sorry, Sudspeth. Um, I, I hope you appreciate the video. Thanks so much for the support and the nice comments. And uh, uh, we wanted to do this video for you so that, uh, you know, you knew what we were talking about with the um, uh, rotisserie. And if you have any more questions on the rotisserie, go ahead and uh, feel free to ask. And you can see how the, the uh, footprint that it takes up in the shop, it's no bigger than the vehicle that you have on it. It's really nice. Um, one of the other things I like too is when you go to sweep around this thing or whatever and you have it sitting down on the ground, all the way completely down on the ground and it's, and it's uh, round, you could take this whole thing and just move this truck or car all the way around the shop, anywhere, out the door, everything like that. You can roll it too, so it makes that really cool without putting the wheels on it because it's, it's a one-person job. You can take and jack it up, drop the wheels on it, put one bolt in each wheel, set it back down and push this thing all over the shop with the wheels or you can just say, you know what, hey, this thing's in my way. I just quickly need to roll it out of the way and it'll move out of the way real easy. But anyways, Terry Hudspeth, um, thank you so much. I appreciate the support and everything. And uh, the other thing I wanted to say is right now we're trying really hard. Um, we want to get our other channel, which is NZ Mopar on YouTube. Go check out NZ Mopar, Glenn Ridd. And uh, I want to get his channel up to 1,000 subs. And the reason we're doing that is we, we have, you know, uh, monetization at 1,000 subs. And we're trying real hard to get him monetized. Right now, he's at 333 subs, which is really cool. Can't, can't do it without you guys. You guys have uh, busted ass and, uh, you know, gave him a whole bunch of subs in the last couple of days. And he's had a lot of shout outs and stuff like that. And that's really cool. Um, there was something else I wanted to talk about, but damn it, I didn't write it down. Now I forgot what the hell it was. Um, if I remember what it was, I'll put it on the end of this video. But if not, I'm going to get out of here. Appreciate your support and everything you guys have done for the channel. Um, have a good night. Hit the bell so you get the notifications and please sub my channel. There's a lot of people that haven't subbed my channel. If they did, it'd put us way up over huge subs too, huge numbers. But go check out NZ Mopar on YouTube. Thanks a lot. Later.